Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And just last night I made a video about interlocking text. And I did it this morning with the 3D. And you can't really see it in the picture, but this is like a scooped out. I mean, it's from more to less or deeper in the middle where this is taller in the middle. Now this might've just been the wood and it also is real small. So it kind of uh, disfigured the other part, but if you made it bigger, it would work better. This is what the file looks like that I sent to the laser. You have to run in a 3D mode. So we've got two texts and they're broken apart. We're going to left click, right click, and while they're selected, we're gonna convert them to a curve. I must have already done that. So you have, they have to be a curve. So then just bring your other text in somewhere where you want it. And because it's a curve, it will cut. So we're gonna cut that or delete that line like the right there. So you need to, if you've got a line here, you don't want a line there. So they already look like they're interlocking. Now we're gonna use a smart fill tool and we're gonna fill in that shape you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna set my nudge factor a little bit larger to like five inches. I'm gonna nudge that over. I'm gonna take the Smart Fill tool and nudge that over because that's my two black parts. Now I'm gonna use black again, but it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna nudge over twice. Now I'm going to left click, right click in black. I'm gonna left click and right click in a light gray, you can barely see it. I'm gonna group these together, control G. I'm gonna group this together, control G, so the contour tool will work. I'm gonna to go to effects and contour. I've already got it set on black. I've got it set on the inside at .001. There's gonna be 474 steps. I'm gonna hit apply. Now I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna change it to a light gray. And look what it did. So this is gonna be that ridge and this is gonna be the dip. And then all you have to do is just nudge it back over. <clears throat> now, pretty important if you're gonna engrave this on 3D, select them both, go up to bitmap, convert them to a bitmap, and convert them to an eight scale bitmap, or eight, grayscale eight bit. <clears throat> what that does, I really don't know, it actually kind of fuzzies it up a little bit, but it makes it run better in a 3D mode. I don't know about other lasers, but Epilog has a, in the print driver under advance, it has a 3D mode. Uh, someday I'll have a, uh, I don't have a computer or a laser hooked up to this laptop. But if you take that out in your laser, that's what you're gonna get. Pretty cool effect. Hope that helped a little bit.